Good morning guys and welcome to the first, well it's officially not number one, but welcome to the first Lily Like vlog this year in 2017. I think I'm going to continue counting from the last vlog that I made previous year, which was called Lily Like vlog. So if you find this weird that it starts, I think this is vlog number nine. Just, uh, yeah, you can watch those vlogs from previous year. Okay, <laughs> anyways, I am freaking late. I need to catch a train because I'm going to Gelderland to Ermelo to go on a retreat with L'Oreal Botanicals and I've never been on a retreat ever in my life but I think I'm going to miss my train due to this vlogging intro oh my god I'm just such a dedicated vlogger I guess ah. <laughs> Hey guys, so I arrived at this beautiful estate called Het Rode Koper. It's located at this nature reserve in the Netherlands called the Veluwe. And just look behind me. Oh, this beauty is so, so amazing. Okay guys, so I had a lovely lunch with four different courses made by a Michelin star chef, which was amazing. But now I'm going to show you my hotel room, which is also very exciting. So, this is my beautiful hotel room. So look at this super comfortable bed. Can't wait to be sleeping on this. And then here we have some bath robes, very nice closet. And then a TV, some comfy chairs, and another closet where I can hang some of my clothing. Then there is this stunning view. And last but not least, I'm going to show you the bathroom. So look at this. I can finally take a bath. I don't have a bath in my uh, loft apartment. It's way too small for that. So it's very nice that I can have one here. And I also received all these nice products from L'Oreal. So there's actually a face mask that I'm definitely going to try. It's for multi-masking, which I love doing personally. And then this is why we're here. The new line from Botanicals can't wait to try everything out. So all these products are from the Coriander line and this one is especially made for a hair that's very fragile and if there's one thing that I have is that I struggle with fragile hair due to the fact that it's very coarse and also very damaged. So I'm quickly going to change in a more comfortable outfit and also into my swimsuit because there's actually a pool and I really feel like taking a little dip. So yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Love it. I'm so thankful to be here. So nice after all my exams. guys so I chilled by the pool for a bit took some photos and now I'm walking towards 
the horse stables it's officially called but uh, we're going to have the botanicals retreat there they're going to use the new products on my hair and they're also going to style it for me and after that uh, we're going to have a photo shoot and I'm actually wearing this outfit and uh, I got so many questions about this blouse everybody is completely obsessed with this blouse and <laughs> I didn't tell you guys where it was from because I wanted to keep it a secret and reveal it in my summer fashion guide and give you like a direct link to it and stuff so if you want to know where it's from check out my summer fashion guide because um, yeah I uploaded that video I think on Wednesday and this vlog will be up on Sunday so it's already up on my channel walking and enjoying the view quite some hours later right now and I did some photo shooting for the new uh, L'Oreal Botanical products and now we're actually going to have a very nice dinner and I thought to show you my new outfit so um, let me stand up for you guys so I'm wearing this lemony dress um, which looks like a dress from Dolce & Cabana but it's actually from Safu I just paired it with a Gucci belt to cinch in my waist a bit and then I'm also wearing my Alexander Wang Nadja sandals and yeah, that's the outfit and I feel so summery in this lemony dress I think it's super cute and it's a little bit longer on the back so that's very nice I just walked into my hotel room and this is how my bed looks and I also received this cute little lip balsam so this is definitely a comfortable bed I just realized again how blessed I am to be able to go on a trip like this to experience these wonderful things and call it my work it just makes me feel so grateful and thankful and I'm so glad that I can share this with you uh, through YouTube, through my videos, and you can kind of experience it with me. And um, I also really appreciate the fact that you always support me. And honestly, guys, the comments you posted on my last video, my last vlog, it meant so much to me. <laughs> I was literally <laughs> smiling like a dumbass reading all those comments just because you are just too sweet. You're just genuinely so kind and. I honestly feel like my followers are the best people ever and um, I feel like I've been thanking you a lot and I just can't wait to see where life is going to bring me so I decided to be a good beauty blogger and to do some masking multi masking I'm going to try out this kit and I'm also going to remove my makeup using this because I thought it was quite interesting Oh, it's very creamy actually. This is such a satisfying feeling. Maybe I'm the only one, but like doing the first sweep of cream on your finger and kind of ruining <laughs> the packaging, it's so satisfying to me. <laughs> Good morning, guys, from the lovely estate at Rode Koper. I had an amazing good night's sleep. Uh, unfortunately, it was not long enough because I had to wake up early to finish a blog post I'm working on already wearing my outfit for today. It actually contains a little life hack that I like to do. I just wanted to show you that you can easily tuck in the dress, especially if it's made from a very light cottony material, into your jeans. Just add a belt to kind of accentuate your waist a little bit because you're going to look a little bit more heavy because of all the material you have to tuck in so if you add a belt that's less visible because you can really cinch in your waist and then you have a cute top instead of a dress my shorts are from monkey and um, yeah wearing my usual bracelets from Mia Bay and my watches from Michael Kors I just 
came back from a yoga session. Sorry if I look a little bit sweaty, but that is just because it was quite intense in the sun. But it was so nice. It was like the second or third time that I did yoga, so I'm not good at it at all, but I really enjoyed it. If I didn't do dance class, I would definitely do yoga, but I love dance class more because it's more creative. But now I'm quickly going to clean this mess. It's quite messy. And then I'm going to take some pictures. Hopefully I can find somebody that's going to take pictures of me. And uh, yeah, then it's time to go already, unfortunately. So I packed all of my belongings. Unfortunately, it's time to go. I already packed my suitcase and um, now we're going to have a little lunch together and then I have to travel for like two and a half hours back home. So it's time to leave this um, lovely hotel today and um, yeah, I definitely had a great time and I can't wait to be back here maybe someday and um, now it's time to travel back home to Kronia for two and a half hours. Yay, I love it. I think this environment is quite familiar to you guys so I guess you already know that I'm back home and um, something happened that really blew my mind again previous week I was sitting here on this couch and I was explaining to you how happy I felt because of all the things that happened and I mentioned for example the scholarship that I got which I totally didn't expect to be getting um, the Supply by Lily launch, that you're also excited for it, the fact that hopefully my exam went well and also the fact that I had this amazing possibility to uh, interview or get interviewed by the CEO of Google Netherlands, Pim van der Velds. And all these things all together made me just so happy and so grateful because I wasn't feeling that well the last couple of weeks. I was definitely not really in a good place and it felt so amazing that all these amazing things happened to me. Sorry that I say the word amazing a lot, maybe that's annoying, but it's honestly everything to me feels so amazing and I'm just so happy. and. I'm smiling the whole time because I just can't believe that everything that I worked so hard for is finally falling into its place. So when I was traveling back home from the amazing press trip, thank you so much to all the PR girls and boys. So I was uh, sitting in a train and I started thinking how much I enjoyed that trip and how badly I actually just wanted to go to another trip another press trip I was just thinking like oh it would be so amazing if I could just go on another press trip not that this wasn't enough it was more like I enjoyed it so much I would enjoy it like so much again if I had the possibility to go on a press trip again so then I came home literally for five minutes and then my YouTube manager called me and she said, what are you doing on the 5th and 6th of July? Uh, and I was like, um, I'm not doing anything those days. And then she said, do you want to go to Paris with the body shop? And I just started laughing because I just couldn't believe that literally after five minutes that I'm at home, after a press trip, after thinking like, oh, I want to go to another press trip so badly because I enjoyed my time so much, I get invited to another press trip and to my first international press trip. I've been abroad working together with hotels and apartments. I guess I had a one day press trip abroad, but I've never had like a two day press trip abroad. So I'm going to Paris with the body shop. One of the best feelings in the world when reality aligns with your dream world. And it's just nice to know that hard work pays off because I don't want you to think that I didn't do anything and then I got all these amazing opportunities. No, <laughs> I worked my ass off, like literally 
um, hopefully in these vlogs you can see how much work I put in my webshop, in my blog, in my YouTube channel as well um, because you guys all appreciate the fact that I study which I appreciate then again but I also really want to show you that being an influencer is a hard job like it's it's an amazing job I get these amazing opportunities but it comes with a price and I work for it a lot I just wanted to share this experience with you to show you that if I can achieve something that I want with hard work you can do that too I just want to inspire you and motivate you so what I really want to um, give you guys as an advice two things <laughs> Sounds kind of like the speech that I did with Google, <laughs> but uh, they are two different things. So first of all, with hard work, you can literally achieve anything that you want. Because the things that I achieved, they weren't luck. Of course, maybe the, the timing of it is luck, if you believe in an indeterministic world. But that's another story. But... On the other hand, they weren't luck, they were um, effects of the cause of my hard work. Because without that hard work, the effects of the amazing things that happened to me would not have happened. However, I want to ratify that. A lot of people can work very hard, however, they may feel like they're not coming closer to their dreams. That's not because they're not working hard enough, that they're lazy, but that's just because they are stuck in a certain routine of working hard for something they don't really love. And then your hard work will be there, but it will not be focused on your dreams. I put so much work and so much effort into this influencing situation. Although I hate the word influencer, I prefer to call myself online inspirer so let's call it online inspirer because i just really think the word influencing is so negative i don't want to influence you guys i want to inspire you so i put so much work into this inspiration thing i guess instead of chilling with my friends um or doing another job i don't know i focused everything on this and if i wouldn't do that I would probably still work hard because I'm just a kind of hard-working person. I just can't do nothing. I'm very bad at that. So, um, yeah, I would have focused on something else. But then I would never be here talking to you guys, explaining how awesome it is that I'm going to Paris next week. Um, so my hard work is focused on my dreams. Those things are aligned. And if you're working hard, but it's not like in the direction of the dreams that you want to pursue, your hard work will not have the effect of realizing your dreams. And that's just something that I want you to understand because I feel like some people are working very hard. However, they feel like they're being mistreated because they're not achieving their goals. That's just because they're working hard on maybe someone else's dream and not their own dream. So that's just something that I want to, to share with you. Okay guys, I'm super late. I'm going to dance class, but I quickly wanted to show my outfit. So I'm wearing this leather jacket from Zara. My top is from H&M. My pants are from Shein Side, I think. Yeah, I think they're from Shein Side. And then I'm wearing Nike Janoskis. And yes, I have to vacuum clean my room, but I didn't have time yet. So let's go. <laughs> Everything is new to me Sleepless in a distant dream Slowing up the speed of time Don't let me crash down tonight I just wanna feel what I feel, what I feel When it's just you and me I'm falling on my knees, on my knees Just to see if I can still bleed Cause with you I
Everything is new in love Stronger than the both of us Together we can spark a flame And freeze the world to know the pain I just wanna feel what I feel Hey guys, and welcome to Wednesday, the 28th of June and um, yeah, as you can see, it's already dark outside and that's because I literally didn't have time to vlog today. It was such a stressful day. So let me rewind back for you. What did I do today? First of all, I woke up too late, <laughs> to be honest. I had to wake up earlier, um, but I was so tired. And then I had a meeting with the PR of Groningen University, which was quite interesting, but also took a little bit longer than expected. Then I had to go to the hairdressers. I don't know if you can see it, but my hair is actually a little bit lighter. This light here is very bright, but my hair is a little bit lighter at the ends. We did a balayage, but we didn't touch the roots. The roots are just my natural blonde color. And she also did a little bit of cutting, but not too much. And honestly, this is the first time that I actually love my hair. And that took a very long time because I was actually working on promotion with Olaplex. I'm actually a judge for their uh, social media contest, so we had to make a promo video there. So don't think I was just at the hairdressers for fun, it was actually work, because we had to film everything the whole time. Um, so yeah, that took a very long time. And um, then I actually had quite some good news, because I received my grade for my philosophy exam, my last philosophy exam, Ethics 3, Free Will and Responsibility. And it was a 7.8. Now I'm waiting for only one mark, which is part of like uh, three grades in total. So yeah, um, after that I have all my grades for this year. Then I had to film and edit a video um, and that took me such a long time. And it's actually now almost 11 o'clock and I really don't feel like going outside because it had been raining the whole day and my hair looks so nice, but I have to because the internet in the library is just way faster. So yeah, otherwise it's going to be way too late. So that really sucks. <laughs> 